It is so good to have a personality. I am so glad I do not have to go around acting like I'm something that I'm not and mimicking other people. God, it is good to have a personality. <laughs> it's awesome! Okay, so today I want to discuss uh, free speech and the free speech hypocrisy that is going on right now. Uh, I think it's a relevant topic for right now, being that uh, a couple things have happened just recently, and um, just want to get into that a little bit. I noticed that Trump, uh, I don't know if it was a bill or what it was, uh, they got something going to uh, f allow for free speech on college campuses, because uh, I know a lot of the conservative viewpoints were being shut down, uh, so a lot of people were upset about that. It seemed unbalanced, and I think he he did something, I don't know what it's called, a bill, a law. I've done like uh, about two seconds of research. No, I mean, I saw something on it briefly. I don't think I read the whole thing, but something about making it so that there could be free speech on college campuses because, you know, conservative ideas were being shut down a lot. Uh, they were being shut down on Facebook. You had people like Diamond and Silk, who are black conservatives, where they were really stifling their exposure. They were, they were blocking a lot of people, so it wasn't coming up in the news feed and things of that nature. Um, you know, Diamond and Silk have a very large audience, and they were making it so when they would post on their fan page that it wouldn't it wouldn't no one was seeing it because facebook tells you like how many people viewed it and it would be like i don't know how many li people liked their page but it was they have a very large following and like no one was seeing it they weren't allowing them to boost the posts basically they were stifling them from giving their opinions so now we have a there's kind of a hypocritical thing going on right now because then they also came out with this anti-Semitism bill to where they want to make it like a, basically a crime if you even mention Israel, which is completely hypocritical to um, open thought and free discussion and... Uh, so we have on the one side they're trying to move forward and allow people to speak but then at the same time they're coming out with an anti-semitism thing to where um if you say anything that's even a min what seems to be a minor criticism of Israel or a Jew they're trying to shut it down. I mean, what? First of all, that's insanity, okay? You can't cry and complain that you want free speech for conservatives and then shut down people speaking about Israel or, or uh, Jewish people. That doesn't make any sense. That's completely hypocritical. So, and this is. Uh, this has been seen by myself on YouTube, okay? Let me explain something here. I've done two or three videos where I was um, explaining pretty negative viewpoints on Christianity, and no one complained not once. Okay, then I made a video where I expressed a minor criticism of Jewish people and some according to YouTube someone complained and they didn't sh they didn't shut take down the video they they you had to click and say 
oh, they put a message on it like, oh, this could be offensive to some people. And you had to like click on that to still view the video. And then they disabled the comments. So how is that free speech? Um, uh, people can express opinions that they want to express. Even hateful opinions is free speech. If you try to shut down people's viewpoints, you're infringing on their First Amendment rights. Okay, so according to YouTube on that video where I made a minor criticism, they claim that someone complained, which I don't even know if that was true because the video only had a, a couple hundred hits at the time um, when they were trying to kind of semi-block it. And they claimed that someone complained, but yet Jews are a tiny fraction of the population, like 1%, but yet I did three videos speaking out against Christianity and how I had a horrible time at the, the Christian church and um, I made another video saying that uh, the Christian church primes you f for narcissistic abuse uh, and Christians are a much larger percent of the population than Jewish people and uh, no one complained about those videos? No one got offended about the anti-Christian videos? Hmm, that seems a little suspect to me, <laughs> don't you think? So, my point is this. If you're going to advocate for free speech, you need to allow for free speech on both sides of the equation. People are allowed to give you their opinion, whether you like it or not. That's called free speech, the First Amendment. That's our First Amendment rights. Okay? We are allowed to give an opinion on something. You can't shut down free speech. Then, I was watching a, a channel that I really enjoy, Israeli News Live. Okay? They are Jewish themselves. Okay, they put a video up a couple days ago with a doctor named Lorraine Day. And in the video, she was speaking on Israel. Um, I would not say the viewpoints were good. YouTube took the video down. I went back because it, so, it was a fascinating interview. YouTube took the video down because she was giving uh, very interesting information about Israel, the Noahide laws. She was getting very deep into it. And the people that run the channel are Jewish themselves. <laughs> so you have Jews themselves who are speaking out against Israel and things that are going on right now, and they're shutting the Jews down. So how are you advocating that you want free speech from conservatives, you want free speech on college campuses, and then at the same time introducing a bill or a law, whatever it is, that uh, about anti-Semitism, and you can't say anything about Israel, but Facebook was completely bombarded in, uh, with anti-Christian memes. Um, hmm, why weren't those shut down from Zuckerberg, the Jew Zuckerberg? Why weren't those memes uh, shut down as being um, offensive? That's what I'd like to know. So what we're seeing is a complete hypocrisy and attempt to silence viewpoints that do not match the viewpoints of the powers that be. Uh, we are allowed to have opinions, whether good or bad, on any country in the world. So why are you shutting down on your platforms, we know who owns these platforms, opinions that 
are not directly in line with yours. Oh, that's right, because there's an agenda. That's right. Oh, I forgot. There is an agenda. Unless you are perfectly in line uh, with pumping out dysfunction, uh, gayness, LGBTQ dysfunction, um, and going along with uh, the effeminate, the feminization of men, uh, turning women into men, and turning uh, all of society into complete dysfunction so they can break down the uh, family unit so no one will procreate. If you're pu pumping out a bunch of videos on that, then, oh yeah, those are perfectly, those are kosher. Yes, yes, those are kosher, <laughs> but the rest of us, you can't have any opinion on anything unless it's in line with their sick, twisted, and demented agenda. So I just wanted to point out the complete hypocrisy, okay, because this anti-Semitism bill is a way to shut down free speech and to give Israel and specific Jews complete immunity from the crimes, and they are crimes, that they are committing. It's no different than all of this political correctness nonsense that, oh, you offended me, you offended me, you offended me, I'm in my feelings uh too bad <laughs> you know people are are allowed to express their opinions it doesn't matter if you get offended i get offended all the time that that doesn't mean the person doesn't have a right to express their opinion that is their prerogative to feel however they want to feel if they don't like the united states they are entitled to say that that is their prerogative so this is just total hypocrisy and another way of shutting down viewpoints that are not directly in line with their sick agenda and their crimes.